Welcome to the first part in a new series where we are going to be playing the 1.8 version of Reforged Eden in Imperium Galactic Survival. Now I'm aware many people don't like long introductions, so there will be a timestamp appearing now for anyone who wants to jump forward into the actual gameplay. If you decided to remain welcome, this in, in this before I get into setting the game up, I just want to explain the objectives of this series. And the, 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 that boils down to three things. One, I don't want to spend 20 parts getting off the starter planet. And the second objective is I want to spend a bit of time learning on the shipbuilding mechanic in the game because I've not done that much with that. Probably the main objective of this series is to get up into space relatively quickly and then explore the galaxy looking for um, interesting POIs and events to, uh, um, to take down. To be able to support this main initial drive is that I do want to work through the main mission, partly for because it's fun, and I know that there's been a couple of updates that are specific to Reforged Eden. Also, I would like to compare the, the base game experience, which I've, I did in the previous series with Reforged Eden, so that those are the main objectives of the series and just to show we are starting on the 1.8.8 update for reforged eden anyway let's just jump in and single player of course we're going to play scenario we're going to play reforged eden now i'm going to be completely upfront. i've i've really had a bit of difficulty um with the starting um, planet because i i didn't really want to start uh, absolutely very easily uh, I did consider starting Temperate 2 because I've never done this start with the wreckage in, on Talador. Basically what I've come down to is um, we're gonna go, I'm going to go for a medium start, but I couldn't make up my mind which one. So I asked my wife for a number between 1 and 4 and she said 2. That means we are going to be starting on Roggery. Then again, I've selected the planet and I haven't actually renamed this. So this is going to be a bit of a... So we're just going to go through the parameters. Reforged is series three. That there, um, the seed fifty-eight thousand nine three five seeds to seed. Uh, so starting equipment we can leave on medium. I must admit I do like having to keep the stuff on my toolbar for two reasons. One is I just find it very irritating to when you get killed of having to run around with virtually nothing trying to recover your backpack and the other one is that i think sometimes when you, you get in very awkward situations having some like uh basics on a toolbar can just give you that little bit of an edge and i believe player progression degradation speed food consumption oxygen temperature i believe all these are normal i want to make progress as i've already mentioned but I think what we'll do is we'll bump this to rich. Well, I don't think we need to increase the number of deposits. Leave water minor depletion on true. Enemy difficulty. Mm. Drone a base attack and drone presence we'll leave on normal. Uh, enemy difficulty. This is reforged Eden. I think I'm going to leave this on medium to from to begin with. And then what I'll do is... Once we get off the starter planet and we've got some reasonable equipment and the challenge gets a bit bigger, what we'll do is we'll push this up to hard. I think that might be the best way forward. Because again, just to reiterate, I just don't want to hang around on the starter planet for too long. Anyway, we're going to construct speed normal, blueprint repair normal. Uh, of course, we're going to play with mass and CPU points enabled. I think the re these two aren't really relevant. I think that is about it. So we'll just come back to here. And oh, we're still on Roggery. And you can see we've got a large planet size. We've got um, start easy. It says gravity slightly heavy. Temperature 19 to 58 because it's a swamp planet, so it doesn't get cold. No radiation. Atmospheric density is quite high, which means we can breathe. Yes, it says breathable. And our starting deposits are carbon, copper, silicon, promethium, iron, gold, and esterum. Quite fun to get some esterum on there. This is a swamp planet, which is, is fertile breeding ground for dangerous creatures intended for experienced players. And of course, we got the patrol vessel to um, dodge around as well. So I think that is about it, guys. So we're just going to click start and wait for the drop pod to appear.
So here we are, and of course, unlike the base game in Reforged Eden, you can actually steer the drop pod. I think we'll head for that wreckage. Actually, there's two wreckages. Oh no, we're getting a bit low now. I think maybe we'll head for that one there. The reason I'm heading for the wreckage is that if there's any bug uglies around that will attack us, we can hide in the wreckage while we get sorted out. So, uh, although that's probably not a good wreckage. Whoops. <laughs> I keep forgetting that when you crash, it gets there. We'll wait for the. Okay, prologue journey into the unknown. You're working a damaged escape pod, injured and alone. A problem through the atmosphere of an unknown world with no memory on how you got here. Okay. We're going to just, we're going to keep the mission. Uh, oh, of course, the, uh, the the stuff isn't in the drop pod. Then. Let me just see. We got, we got. That's all. It's in the cargo pod. Right, let's just get set up and get orientated. Right, we've got no armor. We've got two health kits. Got that there. Got our usual manky survival tool. We've got a pistol. Uh, we've got a thermal regulator we might need if we get hot. First thing we need to do is reload the pistol. Where are we on the map? Got no clues at all. First thing we're going to need is a detector. We'll just get that built. Looted this thing. I'm not going to. Right. Um, next thing, tech. I've got to remember how to play this game, actually. Miscellaneous. Of course, we can't. Uh, we got to get some unlock points first. I <laughs> uh, just love this game sometimes. Right, there's the broken antenna. we got to go there. But the problem with the broken antenna is that you um, got to dig down. And digging down with the survival tool is not particularly that good. So we're uh, just going to... Here. So at the moment we're just looking for XP and um, food. I wouldn't mind uh, making some energy bars or something so that we can get because we don't have a lot of food. We've got to put our health up again. Um, I heard a rustle. So I think right. We've now got level two. Miscellaneous, unlock this, but get into here. Put the detector on there. And we need five, five iron ore. Of course, yeah, this is reforged Eden. Sorry. Right, we've got some wreckage. What we got here. Right, we've got some silicon rock. There's a minigun drone over there, 900 meters away. Um, so I'm glad I didn't uh, put it right. We need to move away from that guy. If he gets a sight of us, we could be in trouble. Um, right, we're getting some silicon. We we can't make any... We want to head for the broken antenna. Um... Where's the other wreckage go? Got lots of wreckage round us, but where's the wreckage then? That's the one we just come from. More wreckage here. We can just go. But this one might involve some digging. Oh no. Uh, oh, sport of food. <laughs> you can keep your sport of food. It says there's a radar signature that way. We've now reached level three. Are we heading towards the heading away? We found some copper. There's mineral resources that way. It says for the broken antenna. And get that going. There's some food here. We'll just grab this. Um, what we're going to do is. Oh, 
start producing all that food. We got any other food in here? We got some of this, so we're just going to eat this because this will spoil. Unfortunately, it won't increase our health. So we we need bandages. We need plant fiber and plant two plant proteins. Got a bit of plant fiber, so we we need to make some bandages to get our health back up again. Make one of those. Leave the we'll leave the energy bars in our inventory because then they won't per perish. Okay, we found the antenna. Oh, it's a long time since I've done this, so I want to keep grabbing that. Um. <sighs> Pump that up. Looking good. Now the problem with this antenna, if I remember correctly, it says to mine, place the survival tool, yeah. Um is it takes a long time when I mean, the receiver is seven point three meters down. The problem is we don't have a, a suit or a jetpack, so uh, we still haven't found any iron. But I, I, I'm going to dig this out, guys, just to get it out of the way. Um, what I want to do is create a bit of a slope down to where the receiver is. Yeah, if you drill down directly into the ground, what can happen is that you can't actually get back out the hole, and then you end up digging tunnels trying to get back to the surface. Right, it says I've found the, the antenna, but we've got to get to the... There it is. Talk to the... Commander, Commander Stephen Silverbird. Look, I can access the antenna's maintenance port from here. Establish a connection to the antenna. Unsupported external device detected. Updating drivers. Um, something complete. Communication uplink online. Uplink status connection established. Handshake protocol accepted. Signal received. Wait, what? what is going on? An excellent question, Commander. And one that I would be more than happy to supply the answer to if I knew it. Uh, unfortunately, I have been offline for since initialization. Okay, who are you? IDA. I am the IDA. That's the integrated data analyst, and you may call me IDA. The backup of the original UCH IDA to be precise. Where am I? Um, is in integrated into your UCH surveillance satellite in orbit above your location. So you're an AI. That is correct, Commander. My system was rebooted when I detected your escape pod's distress beacon as it was entered the upper atmosphere of the planet. I have been attempting to connect to your suit's data link since you regained consciousness and it appears my transmitter was not able to transmit on a frequency required to access your data link until we, you linked with, uh, uh, what was it? <laughs> uh, okay. I says, I'll just reread that again. It says, I've been attempting to connect to your suit's data link since you regained consciousness, but, but it appears that my transmitter was not able to transmit the frequency required to access your data link until you linked with the external transceiver. Now that I am connected to your suit's computer system, I can calibrate your suit's data link so that I can interface directly with your suit. I provide you with the scanning and telemetry data of your role. So that's some kind of AI support. My original role is to utilize systems at my, at my disposal to scan, analyze, categorize, and direct personal operations. I can do a great deal more than that, but nothing that is relevant to the current situation. As you are the only UCH personnel I have detected on the planet, I can devote much of my processing power to assist you by coordinating your search efforts and supplying mapping data and identifying enemy crafts. Okay, I look forward to working with you, IDA. Your suit's data link has now been calibrated, Commander. From now on, I shall interface your suit directly and use your sensors to communicate and assist you. I have detected structures and objects which will answer both your questions nearby. Let's connect the antenna. So what we've got to do now is get out of this hole that I've dug. Oh. Okay. Dig this out here. I have to take this out above me. Oh, I just... Okay, we're back on the surface. 
So I thought the new model was capable of learning empathy. I'm just trying to stay positive. Right. So we were now in this area here. What we need to do now is just check out the local wreckage. And I need iron. Because we need a portable constructor. And I'm not seeing any iron around here at all at the moment. Chapter 1, Human Debris. Alone on the unknown world, you stand against an unforgiving alien world looking for anything that remains of your crew and your fleet. Are you truly alone? Proceed. Right. We need iron, iron, and iron. Getting plenty of plant fibre, if nothing else. And normally there's iron somewhere. We've got a copper deposit. Let's just throw out a scan. Um, we already found some more wreckage. There's two things I would really like is a motorbike to get out and about and do things. All right, we found some iron bear and rock. Thank you goodness for that. We got four. I think we need five, don't we? So we need one more iron bearing rock. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Whoops. Right, there's some wreckage over there. We'll go and check out the wreckage. Right, we've got another iron bearing rock soon. IDA, locate the crash ship. Yes, um, thank you, IDA. Right, we're now in business. So let's just keep using these up. Food. What we got over here. Some food here. Um right, scan. Keep grabbing everything in sight because it's all XP, fifty XP at a time. Um Right, this one we're going to have to dig down. I don't really want to dig down for these unless I have to because this tool is rubbish. I don't know what... Where's the drill? Let me see. Tool. Mechanical drill. We're at level 3. Okay, what do we need for a portable constructor? Right. We just get... I, what I want to do is just make that drill so that we can get things going. In fact, I wouldn't mind two portable constructors. So, uh, grab you, grab you, grab you. Yeah, because what I can do is set up one portable constructor to make the base resources. Oops. Um, pelican is down. Where's the pelican then? It's saying it's over there. I don't really want to go close to the pelican from the begin at the moment because uh, that's going to be defended, and I don't really want to go there. I think the least I want before to get before we go to the pelican is a shotgun. Um, we got right. We've now got a instructor. I just want to make another second one. And what, where can we set up base? We've got a broken antenna in the center. I think I'm going to... Where's the UCH wreckage? Where's the antenna? Um, when, where's the copper? Right, we're going to... Thank you. You. And you. And... I think we're going to make, I think what I'll do is I'll set up a kind of work base next to the antenna. I can find it. There's some plant protein there, which we up. So what was that? Not found any copper yet. Okay, we're going in the right direction. This guy is half friendly, so we can just kind of skirt around him. We may have to get some rock so that we can 
refine the rock. Um, can I see some plant food there? Oh, right, we've got more plant protein, more over there. Okay, we've now reached level four. It's pretty good. What's that there? Got some iron bearing rock here. We'll take that. And that's. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw some heart protein. Right, how, how are we doing? Okay, we've now got two of these. Right, time to set up a base. So here are here's the antenna. Um, well, pop you down there. Put you, 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 and that in there. We don't need the energy pills just at the moment. Um, we'll put in quite a pile of stuff. Next thing I need to unlock is uh, I want a mechanical drill. We've unlocked that, haven't we? Weapon. What I need now is weapons. I want the shotgun. And where is my sniper rifle? We haven't got to level 5 yet, but we can get a shotgun. <laughs> uh, well, in theory, we should be able to get a shotgun. But... And we can't. Because we need electronics. We need copper. That means we're going to have to hand drill. Stuff. Can I make um we can't can't make anything at the moment until we've got um oh, we have to keep going haha <laughs> right um what was that right we're gonna put the, the base tag there waypoint accept so we can know where we are Right, let's just get out round now. And we know we got some copper up there, but um, I want to check out the wreckage if we can find it. And we might as well explore the wreckage now. What we got here? We've got a little bit of electronics and computers. That's brilliant. So we've done that one and we're in the direction of another one. Make sure we've got um take that. Right, so wreckage is over there, 59 meters away. Um, got med kit. Okay, well, that's good. And then the next one is over this way. It's probably that one there, which is 100. 34 meters away. Go ahead for that wreckage. That. Not here. Okay, we might as well drill rocks. No light. We've got no. Right, this one is going to be a bit more difficult because. Um, is there anything here? I mean, we could um, salvage. <laughs> Go 
grab that. Here's the. Oh, we've got some more beans and some more electronics here. I think if we get the cargo container, that might give us something a little bit extra. Oh, we've got some mechanical components. I have a light. No, I haven't got a torch. Okay. Uh -huh. Right. I mean, that means we're going to have a bit of a problem. So let's just get back to the broken antenna. So what we've done is we've done these three round here, but we haven't done the other ones. Okay. Um. That minigun drone is getting a little bit close. Is a little bit of a cause for concern. Um, get that in there. Keep the med kit. Um, perish time's good. We'll keep that. Um, Right, um, do I want the flashlight? What do I need for armor? Let me, can I unlock the armor? Um, I think it comes under weapons, doesn't it? Still haven't got to, we haven't got to level five yet, so. Right, we're gonna have to keep punching out what we can do. Certainly want the shotgun, but we got no shotgun cells because we pop her. We need more rocks. Okay. Something tells me I should have made the torch, but that's the way it goes. Um, grab that. What we got here. I'm just going to get back to here. Right, we've got some silicon, we've got some uh, more plant fiber that can go in there. We've got a shotgun, which we can't use because we can't make the ammunition. We need some copper ingots. Um, can't make the... We can't make enough copper ingots for the moment we yeah we need 25 stone dust to be able to make one set of ingots <laughs> um right let's have a look at i'm just gonna make a torch very quickly so that we can operate in the dark um because i'd like to keep kind of functioning in the dark but we're gonna have to keep an eye on the the temperature and I'm aware that this isn't particularly that exciting I'm just going to keep work, grabbing everything we can so that we can I need some rocks there's not much here some berries I could eat those if I wanted to but the trouble with berries is there's a risk of indigestion and there's a rock a big Got a rocky granite thing there. We'll just grab that, grab that. Just keep pushing for that next level so we can get the sniper rifle and mm. I'm just gonna get here and mine this lot. We got 150 points for that. Get back to the broken antenna again. Just 
just put that in there, that in there. Yeah, so we need five copper ore and we've got enough to make one one of these. So we're nowhere near it at the moment. So it looks like I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and go that way. I'll just see if we can make a drill. Alright, we can make a drill. That also means that we've got to make some biofuel. Got plenty of this, so we we'll make about ten of these. this up bandages there these out to get rid of these uh, we'll get a couple of those um, we can make a tent I'm gonna make a tent because I'm kind of half tempted to essentially sleep through the night actually so that we can actually see what we're doing but then the trouble with that sleeping through the night is that you actually consume resources. All right, we've got the drill. Um, don't <laughs> got a useless shotgun at the moment. We've got some, right. All right, guys, I'm just going to go out for a quick roll round. See if we can actually get anything else around here that's of any value. Um. And then once the we got enough biofuel, we're going mine out. Mine's getting a bit close. I don't have a weapon to take him down with. Um, <laughs> hopefully he will go away. He's moving away. That's good. So I need that sniper rifle. Right, um, have a look. No, oh, I haven't got to level five. How far off level five are we? That's a long way off level five soon. Anyway, we've got the drill. Where's where are we going? On approach, gonna go out. I think it's now's time to um, drill for copper. Keep grabbing everything we can at the moment. The torch. Definitely need a suit. Don't do that. You're frightening the living daylights out of me. I've got a little bit more silicon. It's the torch. Gana. Because the copper is. Torch. Some food here in case I destroy it as part of what I was going to do with the copper. Can we get any closer to the copper? Is that this? Let me just see. Right. It looks like the copper is going to be quite deep. It's going to be a cause for concern. Right. We're just going to deploy you. Um, put that in there, put that in there. I think the other thing I'm also going to do is deploy the heater. So that I can, not so much that I need it, it's more the fact that it means I can actually see what I'm doing. At least we've got, we've got a personal drone, if nothing else. <laughs> um, and what we're going to do now is drill down for some again this is going to be a bit time consuming so I'll see once I've actually got down to the copper deposit 
Okay, we've now got down to the copper deposit. I know you guys can't see it very well. And to be honest, I can't see it very well either. So we're getting a little bit in now. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Just to show you what we got. I've got 100 um, copper ingots now. We're just going to pick out what we can from here. Get this one. Um, pick up that up that and what we need to do now is find our way back to the antenna is over there and hopefully if we do that we'll be able to make some weapons and start getting organized now i'm aware that i'm running out of time so what i'm going to do is just get back to the broken antenna see if we can get at least a shotgun up and running uh, ideally a light suit and then possibly a motorbike so we got a bit more mobility but also i'd like to get up to the next level so we've got a sniper rifle so that we could deal with those um drones because the drones will be a little bit of a pain in the neck right so here we are we're back here let's just put all this in there first things first i want a couple of these uh we'll keep up some more of that those were uh, that in there um, right, so we've got a drill, we've got that, we can't unlock the level 5 yet because we haven't quite got there. Um, can we make a, uh, we can make a motorbike kit, we're going to make that so we can get a motorbike so we can move around the map a little bit quicker. The nice thing about the motorbike is the fact that if push comes to shove and we hit a a drone or anything hot or the patrol vessel we can run so we're just going to build the bike uh, take that with us uh, we need some more energy bars so uh, to construct a lot of tents uh, uh, one two three four we're okay for food we're still a little bit low on health i don't think i need those information up in here as well so we this right we, can, we should now be able to make a motorbike i can always remember where motorbike actually is so we're now fairly mobile an emphasis on fairly um, we have got five minutes before it gets daylight. Um, where's the, we got silicon out there. We don't need silicon. What we need is iron. We just see, we, we've done those. And I think we did that one. Let me just, so if I turn that way, get the scanner out. As we got wreckage in that direction. I just want to check the wreckages out this way. See if we can get anything from these. Done that one. Is the one there? Okay, I think we've got the the main. Just going to use the. Oh, we've got some rock here. And pick up. Just going to mine this rock out. Again, and out. Right, the error drone is over there. Um, we put the bike out. I 
we're going to do is we're going to push down this way and we're just going to do some general collection. Clear the area of rocks and other debris. Got to be a bit careful because running around on the swamp planet at night can be a little bit tricky. Um, let's see what we got here. Got another rock. Oh, something's coming at me. I can't see him, but. Yeah. Malian Thorn. Um, I forgot to load my shotgun. <laughs> no point making it if you don't you get me access to using it. Where is the bike? There it is. I think the problem was is I got in. I started to move into these trees. Um, which is normally where the local bug uglies actually hang out. All right, well, I'll just run around here very quickly. Grab what we can. Uh, and here's someone. Here he comes. Oh. <laughs> I didn't load the, load it. Well, on the positive side, it's got us to five. <laughs> right. I think it's time to leg it back to the antenna. Yeah, I'm just going to jump off. Pick the bike up. And we're um, weapons. Certainly want that, and I want the sniper rifle. And we're just going to get in here. Um, it's under weapons, isn't it? We certainly want the light armor. We want the sniper rifle. And what I want is. Um, we've got 15, so on about one, two, three, four, five of those. And now I think this would be a good point to stop because we're on the beginning of a new day. I'm also manufacturing the armor and the sniper rifle, which means we can then in the next part kind of push the boundaries out a little bit and start to get more resources. So until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.